Sa lahat ng pwede mo maging reaksyon, Diyos ko po. The 10 women nominated for Best Actress on FAMAS this year developed a convincing characters and delivered complexity on their roles. Welcome to SRC, and today we're gonna talk about the Best Actress nominees for this year's FAMAS. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our future videos. Angel looks in. One more try. Ngayon lang po ako nakahawak nito. Tony Gonzaga. Starting over again. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng bumubuo ng Filipino Academy of Movie Arts and Sciences. Andy Egerman. Angela Marcado. Congratulations! Again, and I want to serve as an inspiration to the people. Here are the nominees for Best Actress for its 67th edition. Judy Ann Santos, ang dalawang Mrs. Reyes. The movie is about two devoted wives, Lian, played by Judy Ann Santos, and Cindy, played by Angelica Panganiban, respectively, who found out that their husbands were gay and were having an affair. What makes you think after their shocking discovery, they decided to join forces to make sure that their exes don't get what they took away from them. A happy ending. According to critic Cogs Cruz, Santos and Panganiban's portrayal of their characters should be lauded for their roles are not easy to depict. Considering the convenience of simply surrendering to cliché gestures is immense. Perla Bautista, kung paano hinihintay ang dapit hapon. Bakit ako magtatanggal? E bulbul mo yan. Perla Bautista played Tere as an opinionated woman who spoke her mind about things she did not like. However, when someone from her past humbly asked for her help, she still went out of her way to provide care. Kung paano hinihintay ang dapit hapon focuses on the story of unmarried couple Celso and Teresa, who after celebrating their 27th love story, Receive a call from Teresa's estranged husband, Bene, asking for help. Together, the couple rush to Bene's side and aid him in his daily errands as he's diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Angelica Panganiban, Excess Baggage Although Angelica Panganiban also starred in the movie Ang Dalawang Mrs. Reyes alongside with Miss Judy and Santos, she also has her share in the nomination for Best Actress in a different movie. The movie Excess Baggage is about a chance encounter of Pia, played by Angelica Panganiban, and Mix, played by Carlo Aquino, instantly hit it off. Natural conversations eventually develop into deep attraction. Despite their wants from previous relationship, both decide to take a chance on each other. According to writer Koji Arusa, Panganiban is amazing delivering punchline after punchline, alternating it with poignant scenes that she carries just as well. Glyza De Castro, Liwai Liwai is the true story of a mother raising her child as normal as possible in a makeshift prison camp for dissidents during martial law. Liwai is Glyza de Castro's most political film and character. Using stories and songs, she tries to find joy even in their difficult life. It is ultimately a story of hope that no matter what challenges life brings, love can help us overcome them. Beyond a deeply personal story of people who refuse to remain as victims, it brings audiences front and center of the emotional journey and sacrifices that freedom requires. According to Fred Hawson, Glyza de Castro gave an impressive lead performance as Dai. She may be beautiful of face, but she was still credible as an Amazon rebel. She was tough, brave, no-nonsense, yet compassionate and loving. Mina, Mamu and the Mother 2. The film centers on the story of Mamu, played by a stand-up comedian Ia Mina in her introductory role. A middle-aged transgender woman and her plight to make ends meet through life as a sex worker and an aspiring cook. With the superficial demands of her profession, 
Mamu entertains the idea of saving up for breast implants to keep up with younger, fresher competition. According to Leo Balante, Iyamina's Nuan's portrayal for her first lead role is commendable. Her eyes convey effortless, honest emotions free from put-on melodramatic gloss resulting into a raw, genuine performance. Iyamina becomes the first transgender to win an award in Cinema One for Best Actress. Nadine Lustre, Never Not Love You It tells the story of Joan, played by Nadine Lustre, a young professional working in the big city to provide for her family in the province, and Gio, played by James Reed, a carefree graphic designer and tattoo artist who lives for himself thanks to a well-off dad funding his lifestyle. She's a pragmatic realist who has clear-cut goals and looks to the future. He's a romantic idealist who lives in the here and now. Yet despite their wildly opposite natures, they meet, connect, and fall in love. And then, reality checks in. According to Cake Evangelista, Lustri evokes a wealth of meaning and emotion in her performance as Joy. Her character's struggle is evident in Lustri's every expression, gesture, and line. There is a scene in the latter half of the film that echoes a happier moment in Joanne and Gio's relationship that seems to reinforce their diverging life and career paths. Lustre's stillness and brooding silence in it reveals her character's inner conflict more than any words could say. Marietta Subong, Oda sa Wala Marietta Subong, or more popularly known as Pok Wang, who plays as Sonia, who is an old maid stuck in a town that long ceased to recognize her existence, but only until one fateful morning when a mysterious course arrives at the footsteps of their family-owned funeral shop. Bringing forth strange luck and fortune, Sonia instantly gets drawn to the course's mystic reinvigorating not only her life but also that of her father, Mang Rudy. According to writer Fred Hawson, Subong totally subsumed into the role. She gave a consistent and convincing portrayal of one lonely woman's descent into madness. Subong's attack on the difficult role was eerily subtle, slowly and steadily developing. Sara Hieronimo, Miss Granny Sara Hieronimo's acting in the Filipino adaptation of the Korean film Miss Granny did not go unnoticed. Miss Granny sees Sara Hieronimo as the young version of Nova Villa, whose character regains her 20s appearance after being photographed at a mysterious studio. She finds the transformation as a means of escaping personal problems, including a rift with her children and her grandchildren, whom she feels no longer value her. According to Chris Newbold, the film really comes alive with Hieronymus' energetic performance and the granny in a girl's body interactions with her heavy metal loving teenage bandmates. Ano bang kantang gusto mo? Hmm, ganito! And Curtis, Sid and Aya, not a love story. It follows Sid, who suffers from insomnia, and meets Aya, who he hires to accompany him in his sleepless nights. According to Stephanie Mayo, Curtis steals the show. Director Irene Villamore and Orenda In lands her as a bewitching money pixie dream girl, and with their strong chemistry with Dantes, you fall in love with their unspoken love story. Gabby Padilla, Billy and Emma Set in the mid-90s, the film tells the story of Billy, played by Zar Donato, a troublemaker from the big city who finds herself exiled to San Isidro to live with her spinster aunt who is also the town's religion teacher. Determined to change her ways and get through the last year of high school without incident, Billy hides herself from the world until she meets Emma, played by Gabby Padilla, the ambitious star student who coaxes Billy out of her shell. 
They soon fall in love, but things get complicated when Emma finds out that she's pregnant. Ma, buntis ako. Hindi pa ako ready maging lola! Mukha na ba akong lola? Ma, kailangan ko yung nanay ko, hindi best friend! Together, they explore the fleeting nature of love and life on this journey of growth, laughter, and music. According to Jamnitura, Gabi Padilla's endearing performance as picture-perfect Emma, who comes of age in a contained, judgmental town, may well be a career-making one. Her transition from wide-eyed, naive teenager to a feisty, brave woman firm in her decisions is a development to behold. Comment down below who do you think will win this year's FAMAS Best Actress. The Gabi ng Parangal will be held at the Miralco Theater in Pasig City on April 28.